dear and wonderful zine friends. Welcome to another Happy Mail Monday where I share my mail from the week with you. And this week we have quite a few goodies and dun 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 a parcel. <laughs> so yes, lots of good mail. I uh, just a quick note before I'll try to make bleh. A quick note before we get started, and I will try to keep it quick, is I want to say thank you to everyone who's been very uh, supportive of these mail open opening videos. While it's fun for me to share my mail and that sort of thing, it's also good for me in that, as I've mentioned repeatedly, these are unscripted, so it's good for me with um, social anxiety and all sorts of things to be able to blather on without a script in a safe, sort of comfortable, getting comfortable way. Anyway, <laughs> so thanks. It's, it's good for me and I'm glad you're liking something that is beneficial for me. But you aren't here to hear me blather on, at least not just to hear me blather on. Uh, you're here to watch me open some mail as well. Ooh, see what is inside. And we will get started with... Bah, bah, bah. Oh, let's see. Yes, the screen is picking up on that gorgeous green. Green is such a funny color. You get so many different variations of it and a lot of them are kind of gross. But this is lovely love the green and this is from amy louise and i already know who amy louise is because we have sent mail before and i'm not sure of amy's preferred pronoun so i'll just say they and i apologize if that's wrong amy louise runs the lost projects zine which i happen to really love and if you'd like to see my reviews of Lost Projects uh, 3 and 4, I believe. They are in my zine review index on Sea Green Zines. And guess who forgot her letter opener somewhere? Me. So <laughs> I brought a box cutter in preparation of the parcel this week. And it's kind of uh, making me a bit nervous, but I happen to have scissors. So I need to set up something in here so I'm not wandering away with my um, letter opener because that was so handy last week. <laughs> and the week before, I can't remember exactly when I got it. <laughs> I said that the blathering on was good for me. I didn't say it was good blathering on. <laughs> oh, goodness, love the floral green. Oh, and there's so many things inside. Oh, goodness me. Come on. Come on. Come on, zines. Where are we? Are. Oh, goodness me. All right. Oh, <laughs> so we have the floral green, and then we have some floral orange. Very nice. Very cool. <laughs> so, so, let's see. Um, okay, so this is a, a note just saying, you know, thank you for reviewing Lost Projects and uh, uh, the letter that Amy included when she, oh, excuse me again, I'm sorry if that's not your pronoun, when Amy included um, a note in the Lost Projects sent to me for review, uh, Amy mentioned wanting to build a bit of community, so I sent some zines back, and it's just thank you for that, and apparently just watch the first podcast. <laughs> if for some reason you're watching this and you haven't seen anything else I've done before, I am the host of the Zine Collector podcast. So that's what Amy's talking about. <laughs> Let's see, what do we have? Ooh, ooh Wasted Ink Zine Distro. Ooh. This is a Zine Distro in, oh, I believe, it's in Arizona. I think it's in Phoenix. I'm, I I'm apologize if I'm wrong. But, yes. Oh, they have online web presence. Highly re recommend you check them out. Stuff like that. They're very inspiring to um, 
check out online <laughs> sort of thing. And they have an online shop too, I believe. Ooh, and another sticker. Ooh, <laughs> very cool. We grow our own food. <laughs> awesome. Oh, and hello. Oh, thank you so much, Amy. Oh, when it comes to zines, I'm a bit of a, I think I've mentioned this before, but I'm a bit of a completionist in that if I love number four, I want to have numbers one through three, that sort of thing. I want to have them all that, that you know, <laughs> my own weird little silliness. But Amy has sent... So yes, I definitely did review issues three and four of Lost Projects because Amy has sent, but uh, issue one, Lost Projects, issue two, Lost Projects. Oh yes, 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 yes. <laughs> oh, so cool. I really, I won't say the whole review again, but I really love the whole concept of this. You know, a space for the lost projects, the things we never finished, etc. Really love it. Oh, I'm so excited to get the next ones and the cool stickers and everything fluoro colors. I love it. Thanks so much, Amy. That's lovely. Oh, goodness me. Love it, love it, love it. <laughs> and next up, oh, I know what this is. <laughs> this is from Latibule, um, who is in Perth. Apparently, she just had her business name registered because check out... That's super cute art. She is so talented. Like, look at it. So cute. So very cute. Make sure it's focused again. <laughs> oh, and, and, and the green and the checks and everything. Oh, washy love. Washy love. <laughs> oh, very cool. I think, not the last time, but the, the time before. I mentioned the uh, dream zine trade thing. Well, Latibule happened to be a participant in that. I'm using the box cutter again. <clears throat> it's making me nervous. Scissors, Nyx. Scissors. And find your letter opener last time. Or next time. Yes, go into the past and find your letter opener. <laughs> oh, gosh. Ah. So, yes, uh, Latibule was part of the Dream Zine group swap thing. Just need a little water break. So, Latibule was part of the Dream Zine swap thing. Ooh. Oh, very cool. Very cool. I always thought that, is, that dreams were something that nobody would ever be interested in. And lo and behold, there were lots of people interested. And then we came up with a swap. Oh, goodness me. <laughs> So, these are the copies of Latibule's contribution to the swap and called Meat Cleavers and Money Boxes. Holy wow. <laughs> that is a heck of a title for a zine about dreams. And here I was doing something boring with my title and just calling it Dreams and Nightmares. <laughs> but wait, there's more. Okay. Myself, wear your hair down. That'll be different. Yes. Oh. Okay. So, Latibule volunteers at Headspace. If you're not familiar, Headspace is a 25 and younger place for people um help out with their mental health and stuff. It's something I um, came across a bit too late, so I'm not all that familiar. Oh, this is so sweet. So at an, a Headspace event, they were giving out these little hearts. And it's an anxiety tool. You keep it in your pocket and you hold it and you play with it whenever you're feeling anxious. That is the sweetest thing. Thank you so much. She said that... Uh, she mentions, oh, it's okay if it doesn't help. And it's going to help. That's so sweet. I actually have, possibly have a, um anxiety clinic coming up that I, crossing fingers, will uh, get into. And that will be very handy to have. That's, that's a, check that out again. That is adorable. That is so sweet. 
Thank you for that. Oh, I just don't know what to say. That's oh, mm, thank you. That's lovely. I think I I talk about my anxiety repeatedly, and I don't mean to annoy anyone. I I just mean to say that I I'm an incredibly anxious person, but I want people to know that so they feel like they can also push if they want to push boundaries and achieve things because like I said ages ago I've wanted to do a podcast for a long time and here I am and I'm babbling and it's anxiety inducing but here I am nonetheless <laughs> Ooh. happy mini Z March <laughs> Numb skin. I think this is a poetry mini zine, if I recall correctly. Very cool. I love uh, Latibule's art style. It's just so slightly. Sorry for smacking my lips. I really shouldn't do that, should I? Uh, it's really kind of cosmic and different wavelength, and that's not really a great way to describe things, but there it is. And they're lovely. <laughs> Senseless. I believe this is another poetry one. Very, very cool. Little cloud on the back. So cool. Oh, what else do we have? A lot of you always sends like the little envelopes in the set. Em like, sorry, getting ahead of myself. Let's see. <laughs> Nyx, you can read, show everything on camera. Check that out. Isn't that cool? That is so awesome. I'm telling you, so talented. Uh, is it egotistic to say that kind of looks like me? Hmm? <laughs> I feel like that's egotistical, but how cool is that? That is very, very cool. Oh, nice, 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 nice. Oh, gosh. So it's okay to read things on camera. Let's see. Hi, Nix. How are you? I'm very well and all the better for the gorgeous mail you've sent. Thank you. Hope you're feeling better since your last mail video, the February 26th one. If you aren't, that's all right. I wish you the best. Oh, you're too sweet. You are so sweet. Speaking of mail videos, loving them and your podcast. They're nice to listen to slash watch when I'm writing letters. And the podcast is a great source of inspiration. Well, I certainly hope so. I'm going, I'm definitely going to touch, get back to um, more inspirational things <laughs> in future episodes. Thank you for organizing the, the trade. Sorry if my zines are late. They're definitely not late. Also, I hope you like the extra zines. All the best. Ugh. Like, ugh. You, see, even the... Try to hide it a little bit. Even the stationery she uses. Kind of cosmic. Ugh. I love it. Love it, love it, love it. And more extras because you are amazing and you spoil me. And, ooh, oh goodness, maybe I shouldn't, that they're all, all on the desk. But, oh, look at this. <laughs> Cacti. Now that, you can't quite see. That's a paper clip. How cool is that? Ah, love it. Get safely back home in the envelope. And we've got little... Various little bird these stickers. They look like stickers. I'm thinking, yes, they're, the, they're stickers. Am I holding it the right side up? No, I'm not. There we go. <laughs> little little birdies. Very cute. Oops. <laughs> Trying to fly away. They are. And more super super cute paper clips. Very cute. My uh, love of paper clips is ever increasing the longer I attempt to actually get my life organized. It seems the more 
I try to organize the more paper clips I need. So those are brilliant and beautiful, by the way. So thank you. And oh, little, little origamis. Little, little, little. Teeny, tiny. Oh, how cute are those? Er, I don't know why I'm whispering. <laughs> Focus back. Come on. There we go. Focus. There we go. <laughs> My camera, my phone, well, it is my phone, it's my phone camera, it is really good, but sometimes it takes a little while, and oh my goshness, I just, what, how, <laughs> you all, you treat me, you treat me so well, you send me such gorgeous little treats and, and lovely things, and I just, I don't know what to say, because I feel like my words just just aren't good enough to express all of the gratitude I have and the thanks and I'm just oh thank you thank you so much oh I'm just <laughs> I'm so excited about all the things <laughs> oh and we're breathing and we're breathing <laughs> bom, bom, ba -dum! <laughs> with Sexy washi on the back. Washi love. Hashtag washi love. All the way. Look at all those stamps. Okay, so, you know, who's this from next? You know, let's get on with it. <laughs> this, oh my gosh, this envelope was, I, see, I'm getting ahead of myself. Yeah, I get all discombobulated and the the loveliness and I'm just like, ah, oh, I'm not worthy. And if you get that reference, <laughs> virtual cookie to you. <laughs> so this envelope is from Nicole. And if you recognize that name, that's because Nicole writes the series pieces. Now, Pieces is a series that I went on and on and on about in episode three of the Zine Collector when I was talking about Perzines and her Perzine series in particular had a big impact on my life. So, woo! <laughs> and then, oh, and then to, but the, the reason this one's extra special, um, well, they're all extra special. To me but <laughs> ah, breathing or breathing yes <sighs> Nicole sent this in January and a couple weeks after that uh, Nicole got in contact and was like is it there and I said no, no sometimes it can take up to four weeks it most stuff should take from the states to Australia. Most stuff should take about ten business days, if more or less. This was sent in January, and th now it's March, so that went way over. And it's just funny because earlier, um, well, at the time of when I'm posting this, earlier last week, we had just given up on this. We just gone. No, nope, it's gone. It's missing. It is lost in the ether, and we were both very upset about that. M missing mail just, oh, don't, mm, breaks my heart. I don't like, don't like it. <laughs> but then it popped into my mailbox today, and I am, postbox, postbox, and I am just so, so happy to see what Nicole has sent. Where have you been, sweet envelope? Where have you been adventuring that it took you over a month? Month and a half? Or maybe even two months to get to Australia. What da 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 Oh, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> so, so, you know, do you know how earlier I was mentioning that I'm, mentioned that I'm a completionist? <laughs> I love the pieces series. I adore it absolutely and completely, but I don't have all of them. And this is one that I needed. <laughs> oh, thank you, Nicole. Thank you, Nicole, for soothing my completionist soul. Oh, oh my goodness. And 
Oops. Put that in order next, please. There we go. Let's see if I can hold them all. Ba -da -da -da. A visitor in myself. Oops. Number one, five, and six. Again, I had a couple of them, but not these ones. <laughs> see, you thought I was joking when I said I pet zines, but I pet zines. I do, I do. <laughs> okay, and the note. Let's see. First of all, how cute. Let's see if I can cover up the note. How cute is that stationery? Oh, kitty. <laughs> so, it's a uh, hello and another person who has listened to the first podcast. Yay! And actually, piece seven is not an issue Nicole distributes anymore, but just so happened to have one on hand and thank you that is so amazingly special that you sent that along even though it's not one that you distribute anymore thank you so so much oh gosh and a visitor to myself wow that is nicole's second i don't actually i mean you could have more out there i'm not sure but i'm pretty sure this is your second perzine series out there and I am so eager to read all of these and I'm so excited and I am so thankful and I'm so like, oh, it's adorable stationery and, and I love all the stamps. That's so cool. Thank you. Thank you so, 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 so much. It is going to take everything in me not to just drop all of my work and start writing it like right now. <laughs> <laughs> just kidding. I'm just kidding. Oh, thank you, Nicole, so much. Oh, gosh. Oh, I'm so glad that that envelope made it. And zines. Zines. Oh. Okay. <laughs> Last but certainly not least. Bottom. Very cool. I'm just going to do a little bit of check out that sexy tape. Very cool. I do like a colorful, uh, I don't know how to say that without, uh, it sounding. <laughs> I'm just going to open the box. So this is a parcel from Shelly Sailor. Now, if that name sounds familiar, that's because Shelly sent me something that arrived last week. And it just so happened to be the only piece of mail that I got last week. Ooh. I'm going to stop talking and concentrate while I have a box cutter in my hand. I understand the point of custom sheets. Like, they want to know what's in there to make sure you're not sending anything naughty overseas. But it does kind of spoil the surprise, though. That's a bit of a bummer. Adult supervision required. Yeah, sounds right. <laughs> Ooh. Hashtag worth it. <laughs> so first off, we have a lovely card. Ooh. I like your cardstock choices. Dear Nix, here's a box for you. Um, meant to send it a while ago, but kept procrastinating and eating the flips. I think that's a completely understandable thing. Flips are lovely and gorgeous and delicious. And, uh, yeah. <laughs> let's see. And just for mention, let's see, the patches are from a cool zine kiosk in San Francisco called the Grand Newsstand. And the tote bag is from the San Francisco? It's the FF, SF Zine Fest. Greetings. Okay, Shelly. Oh, gosh. Mail, 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 mail. I love mail. La, la, la. I made a song. <laughs> oh, gosh. Okay, so we have parcels within 
parcels. So what I might do is kind of like parcels. <laughs> Uh, I'm laughing not only because I have packing peanuts all over the place, but but because I saw this. Oh my gosh! Oh look, so chocolates! Oh my gosh! Oh, oh I can smell the chocolate! Oh gosh! I love chocolate. <laughs> As if you couldn't tell. <laughs> oh, that smells so good. And it's in a little heart box. That is so fun. That is so, so fun. <laughs> oh, that is great. Okay, so what, like, I don't even know. I don't even know how to react to this properly. <laughs> this is amazing. Okay, so... <laughs> so we have a box of chocolates. <laughs> oh, that's so amazing. <laughs> okay, box of And then we have lovely hearts. Oh, they're glittery. Very cool. Make sure I'm <laughs> focused. I train, like, I train myself so hard to, like, focus on the focus where my eyes should be that, like, it's hard to remember that sometimes you do have to look at yourself in the camera because the focus gets off. <sighs> so for those of you who don't know, uh, my Perzine series is called Don't Call Me Cupcake, and there's a long story behind that, but apparently... Uh, Shelly has found, come on baby focus, there we go, how cool is that? It's a cupcake stamp. <laughs> oh, that's so cool. That is so cool. Oh my gosh. Chocolates and cupcake stamps and, oh, what do I even, ah. Oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay. <laughs> big cherry center. Now, Shelly actually let me know that the the box was in the mail and said, I have sent you some good chocolates <laughs> and I have sent you something really gross. <laughs> and I'm assuming that this is what you meant by the really, really gross thing. <laughs> and I can understand that because, um, I really don't like cherry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. I think we talked about this, didn't we? Or maybe I was talking about my uh, dislike of pineapple. <laughs> but I, I appreciate the heck out of the thought. I really do. And oh my goodness, I will find a home for this lovely, this lovely chocolate. Oh. <gasps> Where are you finding these things, Shelly? Okay, so we have... I love ninjas. There we go. Now, if from my early, slightly earlier vlogging days, there I have a little ninja, and he's the zine ninja. Oh, that's so cool. I'll have to show my badge collection at some point as well. <laughs> oh, that's so, so cool. And we have some cool stickers. Very awesome. I'll have to get into Google Translate to see what these all mean. And I might. Oh goodness! Now this, the the Jamie Crespo collection, and I believe the note mentioned the Jamie Crespo collection for your collection. He is the most important scenester in my county, Marin County. Oh, I get it now. The true zine, Marin, 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 Marin County. I just noticed he's moving away from the word zine and toward the word comics on his website. I'll put the link in the description. Oh my gosh. Look at all this. Holy doolies. Okay, so we have some very cool, very cool stickers. Very awesome. Oh, 
I'm going to have to have a lot more sticker pages in my scrapbook of zine fun stuff. Oh, bumper sticker. So I think it's a bumper sticker. How funny would that be? I, I put an American, uh, a um, bumper sticker for an American uh, radio station on my car. <laughs> that would be great. <sighs> okay, so we have this. Jamie Crespo's mini zine. <laughs> oh gosh. Don't start looking at the zine, Snicks. You will not stop. Oh my gosh. So this pile of zine goodness. So this we have Jamie Crespo's zines tortilla. And this is two, three, four. Oh wow. Then we have slices. Very, very cool. And last slice. And throb. And lost punkers. Oh my gosh, you really have given me quite the collection, Shelly. I gosh I don't know what to say <laughs> I'm really I'm just I'm gobsmacked at your generosity this is amazing thank you oh that's like instant zine collection and from from somebody I hadn't heard of before too as well which is always cool discovering new names wow thank you let's see Goodness, and there's more, and there's uh, this. You, you're blowing my mind, Shelly. Like I just, I am gobsmacked. Wow. Oh, cool, cool. And these are the patches. <gasps> I just realized how funny this is because Shelly actually sent this before the last Zine Collector podcast, episode five. But in episode five, Sober Bob and I joked about having um, patches and jackets in um, zine guides and things like that. And lo and behold, check those out. And one says Zine Ambassador. Oh my gosh, Shelly. I, I cannot thank you enough. How cute are these? Oh, that is awesome. I actually have to get a jacket and be all, all zine cool and th I, oh my gosh, oh, that is so cool. And now I, I'm, I'm a zine ambassador officially now. <laughs> oh, that is amazing. That, oh, <laughs> oh goodness, I, oh, y'all are overwhelming me. You, you, I just. I lack the words. I really lack the words. Shelly, Shelly, you, you're too generous. You've been, you're being too nice to me. I, like, I don't know how to thank you enough. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I get amused by the strangest things. <laughs> so, <laughs> some fun stuff, some, some lip shit. <laughs> Oh, very cool. <laughs> Shelly, you are great. I like your sense of humor. <laughs> okay, so, so this is what I'm looking at. Hey, girl, hey. I noticed you've been really rocking it lately, female friend. <laughs> Which is amazing. How about some, how about eight pieces of cinnamon gum? <laughs> how great is that? Oh my goodness, wow. <laughs> oh, and another, another zine, like. <sniffs> 10 weeds you can eat, urban edibles. That is so cool. 
That is very, very cool. Love it. Wonder if I can find any in Australia. Ooh. Awesome, awesome, awesome. And last but absolutely nothing, nothing in this entire video, in this entire session is least, we have Ta da! Focus! Zine Fest! SF Zine Fest! Yeah! What is that? It's 2013? 2013! Wow! Tote bag! I do love a tote bag. Oh my gosh! Oh, I just. Um. <laughs> what am. What. What I. <laughs> you all are so nice and I could thank you all day and all you'd end up be doing is being sick of me saying thank you and I'm just oh I can't say it enough like <laughs> I mean, we've got you know ooh, I've got a tote bag to put everything into <laughs> oh goodness zine collections entire zine collections and and chocolates and floral paper and stickers and little anxiety hearts and mini zines and lovely letters and and oh zines I would not be able to get otherwise and and oh my goodness I just oh can you tell I'm just a spinkle overwhelmed at the moment and not overwhelmed in a bad way just overwhelmed by the amazing generosity and loveliness I, like all of the stuff is right here which is why I keep looking right here and I'm just I'm so so gobsmacked I love that expression because it's so utterly appropriate and wow so to Amy and Latibule to Amy, to Latibule, to Nicole, and to Shelly, thank you so much. You have made my day, made my week. Like, I, <laughs> I can't thank you enough. I'm just over the moon. Wow. I, I don't know what else to say <laughs> other than a million times thank you. I think before I endlessly prattle on anymore, I, I will wrap this up and say thank you again to the lovely, lovely, so generous people who have sent me things this week and in the past. And thank you to everyone watching and enjoying all this wonderful, wonderful stuff <laughs> with me. And thank you to everyone. <laughs> everyone is just... Oh, to be surrounded by such zines and so many colors and, and, and thoughtfulness and generosity is just, oh, it's so gorgeous. And thank you. Thank you all so much. I wish you nothing but the best, most wonderful things for the week to come. And yeah, <laughs> I'm going to clean up all the packing peanuts and then I'm going to go read some zines because oh so many zines to read <laughs> and maybe have a chocolate or two at the same time <laughs> until next week thank you go make a zine have fun show someone some male love because this is this is a gorgeous feeling and I assure you that I'm going to pay it back as much as I possibly can because this, oh, this warms my heart so much. <laughs> this is amazing, amazing, amazing. And that's to each and every one of you. So thank you. Until next week, go make a zine. Anxiety. <laughs> ah, I'm a dork. <laughs> Not a literal dork, because that's something else. <laughs> now I've got packing peanuts all over. That's what I get. That's what I get for being silly.